The producers of the latest Twilight Saga movie, New Moon, are over the moon about the film's very strong opening this weekend. The vampire epic, based on the best-selling books, took in just under $141 million. That's the third biggest weekend opening in movie history. And the people standing in line to get in are not all the usual suspects. Kathy Plume knows she and her friends aren't exactly the target audience for Twilight. We laugh about how silly it is to be captured by this movie. Oh. Paper cut. The movie is about teenagers and aimed at teenagers, yet the theaters are filling up with 40-somethings, like Meg Symington. Everybody remembers their high school love, I think, you know, the crush, the emotion of it all. So I think even at our age, we can relate to that. Of course, most high school crushes don't involve vampires or werewolves. Jake, run! Twilight's love triangle features both. Team Edward, he represents the vampires. And uh, so if you like blood sucking, you're on Team Edward. Then there's yes. Team Jacob, he's a he's a werewolf. The movie's blockbuster opening weekend has taken Hollywood by surprise. The new movie, New Moon, grossed more than twice what the first film in the series did during its opening weekend. Is this all about fans who just had this pent up anxiousness to go see the second movie after Absolutely. they liked the first one? Absolutely. They just, they just have to be there. It's like a drug. They have to get their infusion of this romance. The sequel's success started even before Dawn Friday, breaking a box office record for midnight showings with $26 million in sales. And then it broke the Dark Knight's opening day record, earning $72 million. Some of it was repeat business. I've seen it twice. This will be my third time. I'm not planning on it, but I probably will end up seeing it again. Probably end up buying the DVD. Rabid teenage fans have turned the lead actors into megastars. I'm like in love with the Twilight series and I love Robert Pattinson and Edward Cullen. So far, 80% of the audience has been female and half are under 21. But that means the other half are well past their teenage years. Sarah Solomon brought her mom, Amy, though it didn't take much arm twisting. We both sort of wanted to see it, actually. Actually, my sister just saw it last night and the night before in New York. So she called us right after she came out of the theater. She said, you gotta go, you gotta go. After fans have their fill of this movie, they'll have to wait a while for the next chapter in the saga. The third movie opens next June.